you want to get tons of purple armor in the cycle frontier well friends my name is rengar let's hop into this crusher killing guide so you guys can be rocking the best armor in the game let's jump right in now i understand the fighting crushers can be quite daunting for a lot of new players especially those that are inexperienced fighting them in general because they do look quite scary however they're a very easy especially to cheese we'll go over that in a little bit as long as you use the, the right weaponry and the right tactics which we'll go over in this video you can easily get that purple armor from these crushers and just farm your way to the top now there are quite a few on the map we'll go over the best ones to farm and the ones that you want to avoid because some areas are worse than others and some areas you can cheese them without even like really using the mechanics let's hop into the guide right now to answer the question of why we actually want to farm crushers it's so we can actually craft purple gear now if you didn't know purple armor and purple helmet is the strongest armor and helmet in the game and the purple backpack is the biggest craftable backpack in the game now to craft these all you have to do is come over to the workbench which is located between the quick shop and the ica armory you walk right up here and to craft the backpack you go to utilities click on the backpack and it would cost you 5,000 credits eight textiles two blood dust bloom which can be found in the desert i'll link a video up here on how to find those as well as a crusher high which you get from crushers and the armor to craft it the helmet requires 8,000 credits four titan ore one meteor core one crusher head which drops from crushers and then again this requires a crusher hide a pure velta site six titan ore and twelve thousand credits now again the crusher hide and the crusher head being the most done thing for most people to get we're going to hop into exactly where to farm these things and then how to farm them hope you enjoy now when talking about loadouts to kill a crusher armor isn't as important you might want to lose blue armor to be able to survive players but like green armor is totally fine and you just whatever ammo you need bring a fuckload of it i bring like 1.5k to 2k bullets a run and that is because of the fact that you just shoot so many and it's so cheap you can just throw it on the ground whenever you want it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it now when talking about weaponry obviously the best choices are going to be purple weapons so we have the core 47 and we have the voltaic brute these are fantastic choices to be able to farm the crushers now if we're talking about budget blue weapons i would say the flechette and the ica guarantee believe it or not even though it's not that great of a weapon is quite reliable at killing the crushers but you need a converter this kind of goes for all the weapons if you have a better converter on all the weapons you will mop them a lot faster i found personally on the crushers that they died faster with converters than with the flesh damage mods for monsters that's just me in my opinion but maybe it's not if you're looking as well the advocate i would give an honorable mention to i did have a decent time farming the crushers with it and you might have some from your daily login reward if you want to use it you can i personally don't like the gun but the option is there now whatever it is whether it's the voltaic brood of the core the flechette or the ica or maybe even the advocate just make sure that you have a converter on that thing and you bring a ton of ammo and again if you don't know you can go over to the workbench to craft these converters now the medium ones are the easiest ones to craft in the game which is why the ica guarantee and the uh, advocate are pretty decent choices because they are very cheap to make they only need compound sheets and shard slicers both of which are super easy to get so you can craft those going with a guarantee and if you die it's okay you can run it back but hopefully that is helpful we have the idea the ideal kits as well as the budget kits as well now talking about where the crushers actually spawn there are a couple that will spawn in the thermal ponds over here uh fighting them in here is absolutely a death trap i would not fight any of the ones over here there actually happens to be a hidden crusher that spawns around this area if you ever spawn over here and you don't want to run very far you could farm the one back here he's kind of on the edge of the map and he patrols a little bit so he can be hard to find sometimes but he is back there i've killed this one once or twice the main ones on the map is going to be the one at the pinnacle labs the one by starport warehouse there's about three or four over in the skeleton area and then there is one in the skeleton thermal ponds now i hate fighting the one by starport warehouse because you kind of just get run up on by everyone over here this is the hot spot of the map so i wouldn't really fight here now there's an easy one to cheese at the pinnacle labs we'll talk about but it requires you to make sure there's no players there but the main area that i like to fight them obviously is the thermal ponds this is very isolated and no one can really get to you and then skeleton is probably the second best area to fight them so let us hop into how to 
fight the Crushers, what do they do, and then how to cheese them. Now, the Crusher, unlike other AI, has two main weak spots. One being its ankles, you can see glowing red here. And when you shoot it in the ankles enough times, it'll fall over, it'll take a knee, become stunlocked, and it'll expose its spine from the front. Now, its spine is its second weak spot, and it's not going to always glow red, but the Crusher will always take bonus damage from being shot in the spine. So if you're doing this solo, you want to be unloading your mag into the Crusher when it falls over, and if you're playing in a team, you want to make sure that you are kiting the Crusher in a way so your team can always shoot its spine for that bonus damage. Uh, make sure that you're always hitting that because that is what will make you kill the Crusher exceptionally fast. If you're just shooting its head or its stomach or its torso, you're not going to do very much damage. The Crusher kind of has four main abilities, and I like fighting him in the Skeleton Thermal Pond, like I said earlier, because you can negate three of his abilities by just being on the terrain located here. Now, his first ability, which is a range attack, is where he will throw a ball from one of his arms at you like that, and all you can do is just dodge it. He has pretty good aim, but it's not uh, too good. Now, you can uh, break the weak spot on the Crusher to make him cancel any attack. He will be throwing the range things at you, he could be meleeing, and you hit break the ankles, and he will fall over. Now, his next attack is when he turns all blue, that means he wants to charge in your direction. When you see him turn blue, you should instantly slide out of the way. I took a little too much time here and I got hit because of it, but now you know when he turns blue, he will charge at you. He has two melee attacks. One being like just a one-armed melee where he kind of swats you like a fly. It does about half your health. You know, see me walk up to him so you can see what this looks like right now. It does quite a bit of damage, but like, I don't know. It's not, it's not insane. The one that you're worried about, which I couldn't get on footage, is like a ground slam. He'll pick up both of his arms and he'll slam the ground and do an insane amount of damage. See, that one didn't do too much damage, but the ground slam really, really hurts. Now, playing on this terrain means that you can avoid all of the melees. You can avoid the charge, so all you're worried about is dodging the range attacks. So that's why I like fighting them over here. Now we'll talk about other ways to cheese the Crusher, and then we're going to hop into loadouts. Now if you're looking for an easy spot to cheese them, and you're kind of confident in your PvP abilities, the Pinnacle Labs in the top right of the map is probably the best spot in the game to cheese them. Now the reason for this is you can actually negate all of their attacks whatsoever and bring them up to the front gate of the Pinnacle Lab and cheese them from the bridge above. So you can see me pull this Crusher all the way up to the front and my teammate draws aggro and what I'm going to do is run all the way up to the top of the Pinnacle Lab and I'm going to go across and go to the right. Now, where the bridge is, there actually is no glass so you can kind of just shoot right out the front. So as long as you're confident they can cut any players that are already here, if there are any, then what you can do is run up to this bridge and you can look down and you can shoot the guy, uh, shoot the crusher in the spine, which is that weak spot. You don't have to worry about anything else. He'll eventually walk up to the gate. Now, when he's down there, he can't charge you. He can't melee you. He can't, he can throw stuff, but like it usually won't hit you. It'll sometimes clip you through the floor, but it's a really free kill. And there are no mechanics involved here whatsoever. Now, again, it is super risky considering there are a lot of players, but if you go, like, super late night, too, like, there's not really that many players on, you can kind of get there pretty easily, so it depends on you. If you're looking for an easy spot to cheese them, you're more than welcome to try this, but if you're afraid of fighting other players, then I'd probably avoid this, and I'd go to the skeleton area or the skeleton uh, thermal pulse. Now, I wanted to show just one more clip of fighting them in the skeletons, since you mentioned fighting them here before. Now, fighting them over here is the same exact deal, where all we are trying to do is fight them in the open, use the terrain to dodge their melee attacks, and again, dodge the boulders. And my teammate draws the aggro, so my job is pretty much to just shoot it in the spine while it freaks out and tries to kill him. And it, over here, it's the safest part of the map because people can't really get to you from, like, near lakeside and stuff. It's kind of, like, boxed in. So what you really have going for you is that people can't really make it all the way directly to you. What you are doing instead is you are just out here, like in a choke point where people have to push only one way to you and you can farm them in the open. Guys, that was the guide. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see down below. I'm doing daily streams every single day. We're giving away beta keys every hour I'm live. Link in the description as well as daily guides. I will see you guys next time.